Hi, my name is Armie Hammer. Hey, my name is Timothy Chalamet. It's a love story. It's about love. It's about the base human emotions of what happens when you fall in love with somebody. It's all about figuring yourself out and being okay with yourself. Summer romance, Italian countryside, first love, sexual awakening, fruit, boys, girls. Yeah, no, I can't really add anything to that. That was perfect. We met in, in Crema, the tiny town that we were filming in. That's, that's where we met. I was having a piano lesson for the film, and Army, who I'd never met, burst in and goes, Hey, I'm Army. You're Timmy, right? And that was our introduction. First impressions of each other when you both first met. Man, this guy's huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, and also like, wow, okay, I got really lucky because clearly this person's friendly and is not going to terrorize me for a month and a half. I think my, my first impression to me is still my, like one of my favorite things about him is the sort of like unguarded openness. I met him and it was like this initial thing and then I could like see something go across his face. Where I was like, what's that? And he's like, hey man, I'm so sorry, but I'm like right in the middle of a piano lesson. And I could tell that he got nervous about like, am I being rude to the piano? Like you could just see everything that's going on inside of his brain, which is amazing. After meeting and you know, initial hugs and you know, oh, this is so great, we're so excited. Um, we got on bicycles. He immediately became my tour guide, very much so like the movie, and we rode bikes around, and we went to restaurants. He's like, that place has great pizza, that place has good gelato, like, oh, here, let me go show you this over here. And so it was like the movie where I was- Everything else in the movie played out too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. Really going for it. Yeah. It just really developed naturally and organically. We really met and hit it off. We, we, we just- it off. We had some sort of genuinely liked each other too. It didn't feel like we had to fake the relationship. We were able to, you know, they say experience is the best teacher. We literally just spent a ton of time with one another. And we had that, you know, that kind of luxurious opportunity of really getting to know each other as people before we had to show up on the first day and start making out. <laughs> Army tells this story better than I do, so I'll let him cut me off at a certain point, but. You know, we were rehearsing the villa, we were, sh we were shot the film, where the film takes place, and Luca, our director, one day says, okay, let's do rehearsal, we're gonna go into the backyard, join us. And we went in the back, uh, in the backyard. And, he, and, he, and we get out to this sort of like patch of grass, and he goes, okay, we'll rehearse right here. Let's, let's just pick a scene, let's do uh, scene 71. And he just kind of arbitrarily throws out a number. So we go, okay, okay. great. <laughs> we go to our page, and our, we get to the page on the script, and all it says is, Elio and Oliver roll around in the grass making out. And we kind of look at each other, we're like, all right. All right, here we go. That's why we're here. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. <laughs> you know, and then it was just on. And, uh, and then they had to pull us apart. <laughs> it just wouldn't stop, you know? We just got so into it. Actually, he ran away, I think, right? Luca did? Yeah, we were like on the ground, and then we looked up, he was gone. Oh, that's right, he just left us there like making out. We made out before every take <laughs> of every scene. Even if, even if we weren't in the scene together, I would go to set just to, Warm up, as we liked to call it. Um, yeah. Friendship uh, had its had its origin in this, you know, really tremendously intimate experience that we had from the get-go of knowing one another. Once you're in front of a camera together, and once you're on stage together, then you're like, then you're in it together, and you're really especially like, naked together. Especially naked together, yeah. you know. I always like the scene where they consummate their love for the first time. It's just like, ah, you know, it's like an awkward wrestling sort of thing going on because Elio wants him but doesn't really know how to do it yet. Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, and, uh, yeah. Maybe love is love. Just watching two human beings develop such an intense and beautiful bond with each other, it's, it's nice. Maybe this film's really gonna be able to affect people. You know, maybe even somebody can be inspired to take that leap with someone that they haven't taken before. God forbid somebody says no to them or something. But. I just want to make sure that you know that people are now shipping you as a couple. Do you know what shipping is? You must know what shipping is. Yes. FedEx. No, no, no. Sh <laughs> shipping, shipping is like standing, correct? Yeah. And what's the difference between shipping and standing? Um, shipping is like when people really want to believe a love is real. Like oh, they want you to be the oh. new Brangelina. Oh. Oh. I, I think we have a shot. I think we have a shot. Well, you're lucky because this love is as real as it gets. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. Thank you for convincing me. You've totally. just made the shippers so happy. Yeah. Who wouldn't fall in love with uh, this guy right here? And we fall in love and there's a 
Uh, Am I right? <laughs> we really enjoyed each other's company, we, and we spent a lot of time together. Every night we'd go back to his place or my place, and we would rehearse, and it was it was just amazing. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And from now on, everybody, please call me Sweet Tea. I think the most romantic thing you can probably do is try to do something romantic all the time so that you can't be like, oh, I was romantic that one time. Consistency. Consistency. What's your relationship like since filming? It's exactly like it is in the movie. Almost no, exactly. Well, exactly. Yeah. Right? Except we hate each other. <laughs> yeah. But do you have dinners together? Like, is it like has he become your family here? That's exactly it. I mean, yeah. I wish I had the type of situation where I could be inviting Army over for dinner, but that's not what it is. It's the kind of thing. I've like, been to your place in New York, though. Yeah, I've been yeah, there. I've been yeah, there. like yeah. He, Army, in my place in New York, could put out both arms and he could hit, hit both sides of the room. And he I was, sings Selena Gomez songs all day. That's not true. I mean, well, <laughs> that's even not before true. he signed on for the movie, no, no, no. literally like all day. And do you guys do a duet of Selena? What's your favorite yeah, song? Yeah, yeah, do yeah, your favorite one. Ready? One, yeah, no. two. He's got all kinds of skills you oh, don't yeah. even know about. No, I mean, well, you, you. What the hell does that mean? Yeah. 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 There's a clip of you being a rapper that I understand that we have that, um... Yes! Let's, yes! Let's Watch Little Timmy Tim on YouTube. No, no, Watch some no. rap videos. No. <laughs> Statistics. No! Statistics. All right, you want to see my Army Hammer dance impression? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saw me do that, he's gonna absolutely tear my head off. So, oh, he's right there! What? How do you say his name? There's actually several E's, so it's Timothy E E E E E E. That's that's actually how he prefers to be addressed. And he just got the world's sexiest man, no. 17 via people. You were no. sexiest risk taker. Yes. Let's not, yes. let's not I thought that. we were just embarrassing yeah. Timmy. No, just <laughs> you, gotta pull, you gotta pull back so you can see the, the wall of the urinal. <laughs> I literally got off Twitter because of it. I was like, I can't. I'm done. Back. I get come messages on. all the time. Tell Army to come back. Tell Army to come back. You gotta come back, no man. Way, I'm out. I'm out. Look at this beautiful man over here. Let's do a little pan or a little pan. Or... Look who else we have over here. <laughs> okay, what was it like to work with Army? <laughs> it was a dream. Look, this is like my brother now. Look, look I, I got a brother here now. He, he's a mentor in as much as a paternal figure, in as much as a brother, and uh, he's like really one of my great friends. He called you a brother to him. It was yeah. pretty special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems your relationship is one of genuine friendship. It really is. Uh, we hit it off while we were making the movie, and our friendship has only continued to grow, which is really nice. He's a special kid. It was a really special experience to get to do it, especially with someone as talented and special as Timmy. Special, I like that. A lot of specials in there. Oh man, I I think I fall more and more in love with Timmy every time I see him. He's just like the best. He's just like such an open, wonderful, beautiful soul. And I was incredibly proud and intimidated by what Timmy is able to do as an actor. He is a mean. It's truly my great honor and pleasure to call him by his name this time, my co-star and dear friend, Timothy Chalamet. Seriously, I'm really grateful for your big brotherhood and your friendship. To have someone in your position and as talented as you are be a mentor to me these last two years, it's been valuable to me, man, and I really, I really mean it, man. It was one of the best experiences I've ever had in my professional and personal life. So it was uh, something I would never trade for anything and something that I'll cherish and carry with me for the rest of my life. And weirdly, just being in that town for three months, I, it like, it grew on me. And by the end, I was uh, a version of me I wasn't when I got there. And so to go back to New York after that, it was absolutely surreal. And it's been a struggle to marry these visions ever since. No, but, uh, but, um, yeah. And you both have to say at the same time, first thought that pops into your head. Okay. Are you ready to accept this challenge? Yes. yes. Love. Um, Hate. Army. Army. Timmy. Elizabeth. Timothy. Elizabeth. Um, um, I don't know, man, me? <laughs> Sex. Love. Pass. Call me by your name. Awesome. And I'll call you by mine. Mwah. <laughs>